uh, at the start of this project, uh, I was uh, presented with a print, and basically off of this print, uh, we have to take it and lay it out flat, unroll it to be used as uh, part of the four axis wrapping with the software. So one of the tools that you use uh, to help with this process is uh, you have the ability to measure entities, okay? And when we see here, what I want to do is I'm going to, just as an example, I'm going to break entity, break this entity with that line, break this entity with that line. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to find out the length of this segment right here uh, as if it was unrolled or laid out flat. So I can go to measure entity and I can click on that entity and then you'll see that I have my total length right here. And I had to repeat this process as I worked all the way around the part to find out what the lengths were uh, to draw out flat and then you know we had the breaks here and then a straight line and then a, a gap and then a straight line and and that's the process that I used now at this point I already have my job and tool path set up you'll see that I have a wrapping group uh, in this example I'm using a profile feature one of the things that's very important to understand about your wrapping group is if you right click and choose edit it has a wrapping diameter and you have to define the diameter for your wrapping group in order for the geometry to come out correctly and when I first went through this uh, job I had not properly defined the wrapping group so uh, when it was cutting in the simulation it was simulating all wrong and then uh, I recall that I had to adjust that uh, wrapping diameter in doing so it uh, generates the toolpath in the proper uh, position so uh, that's a very important feature the other thing that uh, we can look at here is uh, my geometry and what you see here in blue uh, is the flat layout of the part okay so just like I showed before if I come in here and I go to measure entity and I click on this line you'll see that it has a certain length and again I did that based off of the other print uh, all the way around so that I could find out the dimensions for each of these different areas so I knew what the distance was between them and what their lengths were uh, really once it's laid out flat uh, it's a pretty easy process to program uh, you have your machine set up which in this case I have the uh, origin uh, set on the center of the uh, or on the axis of rotation and then I have my wrapping group which I make sure to define my wrapping diameter and then I just load a standard uh, profile feature or a pocket feature and uh, the software does everything